A surge in opioid-related deaths and overdose calls prompts Austin Police Department's organized crime division to launch an undercover drug operation near North Lamar Boulevard and Rutland Drive Thursday. That area of Austin is also is known as a high drug activity area. It used to be different areas of Austin historically, but it, they tend to move around over time depending on law enforcement intervention. Officers call the area an open air drug market. According to court documents during the operation, 32 year old Kennedy Remigio sold an undercover officer fentanyl laced crack cocaine. Obviously there's a, a real problem with fentanyl uh, in the community and across the country. And I think the all police officers are getting, uh, trying to get aggressive about uh, arresting uh, distributors of drugs that are laced with fentanyl. During a search, officers say they found marijuana in the suspect's pocket. It was tested for additional substances. After Austin Travis County EMS say they received more than 70 opioid overdose related calls and eight deaths the same week. The marijuana tested positive for fentanyl. According to police, the suspect had a total of 12.16 grams of fentanyl. He faces a first degree felony for manufacture of delivery of a controlled substance. That's a huge amount if it's pure fentanyl. Uh, it takes a very minute amount of fentanyl to uh, have the effect intended, and it takes just a little more than a minute amount to kill somebody. If someone knowingly sells fentanyl to someone and they die, they can be charged with murder under some in some circumstances. There were several arrests made the same week for possession or delivery of crack cocaine laced with fentanyl. According to APD, the arrests were also in response to the recent overdose. Austin attorney Sam Bassett weighs in. To lace drugs with fentanyl is, is a very concerning trend because you don't know where to draw the line when somebody, do, do the, does the seller know it was laced with fentanyl or does, it, does the seller not know? Uh, and then there's a whole problem of proving who knew what.